Come on in there, about Reading you hear a song from 46 and it's a title. It reads, God is our refuge and swim. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we are not to be feared. Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof war and be troubled. Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river. The streams whereof shall be glad the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She should not be moved. God shall help her in that right earth. The heathen rage, the kingdom will move. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he had made in the earth. He make the wars to cease until the end of the earth. He breaks the bow. He cut the spear and sunk. He burned the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heat. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. With you, Psalms number 46, and it's a time. Amen. Amen. Good morning. I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I rejoice when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. May we bow our head in prayer. O oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we humbly bow this time, giving you thanks and praise for this day. We thank you first, the Heavenly Father, for watching over us as we slept last night. And you touched us early this morning, dear Heavenly Father, with a, a new breath of life. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for a reasonable portion of our health and strength. And then once you put that, instill that in us, dear Heavenly Father, we get out from our beds, dear Heavenly Father, and you allow us to come here and worship. So we thank you right now for this day. Thank you. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for being a good God, dear Heavenly Father, a loving God. And we thank you especially for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us that we might have a right to the tree of life. Now, dear God, we ask that you guide and direct us as we go through this service. We pray for our pastor, dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you just continue to strengthen him and guide him as he proclaims and explains the word of God. We pray right now, dear Heavenly Father, for the sick, the needed, and the shut in. We ask, dear Heavenly Father, that you bring healing wherever they may be. It may be in their homes, it may be in the, in the hospitals, it may be in uh, convalescent homes, it may even be on the highways and byways of life, dear Heavenly Father, we just pray for healing. We pray for comfort for those who have lost loved ones. We ask that you continue to strengthen them, dear Heavenly Father. And then we pray for this sin-sick world, dear Heavenly Father. We ask, dear Heavenly Father, that your will be done, dear Heavenly Father, because we know we serve a true and living God. So we just thank you right now. You're an omnipotent God, dear Heavenly Father. You're an omnipresent God, dear Heavenly Father. And so we just thank you right now, dear Heavenly Father, for being such a good and loving God. And dear Heavenly Father, on this day, we give you all honor and all the praise. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.
What time is it? Anybody know what time it is? It's giving time. It's giving time. So at this time we will prepare for giving. Uh, I always like to say this. I know we have a whole lot of money to give back. So at this time let us prepare for giving. We will follow the instructions of the nurses in the rear. And at his, at his command, we will proceed in giving thank you.
gather in this worship service. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us now up to the time of hearing your word. Lord, our, our lives need a word from our homes, our families, our churches, our world. Lord, live their word from you. The Christian community needs a word from you. Lord, we pray that you will speak to me and speak through me. Help me, Father, to get myself out of your way. Help me to decrease that you might increase in the preaching of your word. Let your spirit fall fresh upon me and upon the hearers. Give us all open and understanding, Lord, that we might receive, Lord, what you have to say, that we might take it out of these doors and let it shine in our lives, that others will see our good work and bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus, our Christ. Yeah. 
here. Uh, let him come down from that cross. Save himself and us, us too. And the persecution really, really didn't stop when he died. As he was taken off the cross and he was put in Joseph's borrowed tomb. He was dead. And it seemed like they should have left him alone at that point, but, but they didn't. They, they sealed the tomb. They, they put a rock at the door. They put armed guards around the tomb. But he was, he was dead. It seemed like they should have left him alone. But they, they had heard him say he was going to rise again. Yeah, yeah. And they feared his enemies, his uh -huh. disciples, would come to steal his body. And they knew that if the word got out that Jesus was back, they were going to be in trouble. Hello. So they said, well, we won't even leave him alone in his death. We've got to make sure that he doesn't come back to give us any trouble. Persecution will follow the believer all the way to the grave. Mm -hmm. now, now they know when we go to the grave, we're not coming back. But some folks won't even leave your name alone Amen. after Amen. you've gone to the grave. Persecution will be with us. Mm -hmm. um, and since it's, since, since this hostility and since this evil treatment is, is going to be with us, we, we're going to have to figure out how to handle it, how, yeah. To, yeah. how to deal with it. Doctors say there's no cure for diabetes, but there are some things they can do to help us deal Thank with you, it. That's the way persecution Thank is. There's Thank no cure for it. Yeah. But, but Peter is, is teaching us how we can handle it. What's yeah. not going away? You have to figure out how to, how to handle it. On last Sunday, we shared with you the, the first principle Peter gave us. And he said, follow after that which is, is good. Recognize that you are blessed when you are being persecuted for righteousness. Yes, yes. And then he also, he also told us when you're following after good, don't, don't become afraid of the persecutors. Don't, don't get so shaken up by them that, that you will compromise with them. And then when we get to verse 15, he starts off with but. In other words, he's saying, don't get so shaken that you will compromise with them, but this is what you should do. This is the next step that you should take. So in this lesson, he gives us another principle that we should live by in order to deal with persecution. And he says, set your hearts on Christ and the hope he brings. He uses the word sanctify. The Lord yes. in your heart. Yes. I notice it says sanctify the Lord in your heart. Mm -hmm. Not just in your lips, not just in your words, but sanctify him in your heart. Thank you. The word sanctify has different meanings mm -hmm. in different places. Yes. Sanctify means to set apart. Yes, Lord. It means to Consecrated. It means to, to make holy. But in this text, it also means to give proper place yeah. in your heart. Oh, 
so when he says sanctify the Lord in your heart, he's, he's saying give, yes, yes, give the Lord the proper place as Lord of your life in your heart. In your, it's got to be done inside before it can show up outside. Give the Lord proper place in your heart. Make him Lord of your heart. Set him on the throne of your life in your heart. And when he is on the throne, when, when Jesus is on the throne, as Lord of our life. See, it's not, it's not enough for him to just be Savior. Yes, we want him to save us, but if we're going to stand against our position, he must also be Lord of life. He must be on the throne in our hearts. And if he's on the throne in our hearts, we will adore him. We will praise him. We will worship him. We will reverence him in our thoughts and in our actions. When he is on the throne in our lives. We will trust in his power. We will rely on his wisdom. We will obey his word. When he is on the throne in our lives. So if we're going to Stand against the opposition. We're going to have to sanctify the Lord. We're going to have to set Him on the throne in our heart.
classmates and after the party, they wanted to go to the after party. Anybody know about the after party? <laughs> they were like, like, I'm out there all my <laughs> As we look at, as 
to look at Christian history, we, we find that the persecutors actually physically killed some Christians. Amen. They, they actually burned them at the stakes. They, they took their life. They beheaded them. They, they crucified them. And there, there are times when, when God allowed the, the persecutors to, to take our lives, yes. take our physical lives, but, but that's not the end of our story. Because Jesus has promised us something beyond his physical life. Paul said it this way. He said to be absent from the body is present with the Lord. And then again he said to live is Christ, but to die
and Sunday school will begin at 9 p.m. Please plan to attend these services. There's been a lot of preparation that has gone into these, and we want to really celebrate our pastor being at this church for 45 years. What an amazing <laughs>